Houston Civic Breeding Programme only has 10 animals in it at the moment and they all live in the UK. There's so little known about these animals and we're trying to learn more because we're not having as much breeding success as we would like to have. Uh, my name is Christopher Messam and I am the veterinary advisor for the European Austin Civet Breeding Programme. In 2019 I went around all the collections and anaesthetised all the animals with their vets uh, to get some basic information about all these animals, their health status, blood samples, uh, measurements. This year, in cooperation with specialists from the IASA Reproductive Management Group based in Chester Zoo, uh, Nature Safe and Ecolives, we expanded on that. So the last two years, all the collections have been collecting fecal samples from both the males and the female civets to get reproductive data from them. So they check hormones in the feces so we can get an idea about their reproductive status. Following on from that hormone project in the feces, in February, um, samples were checked from all the females to check that they weren't uh, pregnant at the time of these checks. None of them were suggestive of being pregnant, so we decided to anaesthetise the animals to repeat all the health information, so all the health checks, dental checks, uh, weight, body condition score and measurements. But in addition, we did ultrasound of all the animals, both a full abdominal ultrasound and a very specific reproductive ultrasound, so to look at the reproductive organs of both the males and the females, to learn more about their reproductive system and get more information from that perspective. In cooperation with Nature Safe is we collected semen samples from the males. These semen samples were analysed for morphology and all sorts of different parameters that they look at to see whether the semen is viable. And the semen that was collected has been stored um, for possible future use for art artificial insemination if we really get to the point where we're really struggling with breeding. All the information that we've collected will then help us with making this breeding program a lot more successful, hopefully.